I can just do this just right. And uh, anyway, if you can tell, guys, if you can tell, I'm wearing a nice little helmet, a little unicorn mask here. Uh, I got a Walmart, by the way. And uh, if you watch my previous video, you all should know. Now, guys, we're, I ha I know, I know, I haven't played this in a long time, and I haven't finished it, and I'm going to try to finish it today. So here we go. We're gonna continue. So we're gonna... God, it's been so long. Uh, uh. Let's load the game! Welcome. You've got uh, that. Yeah, undo this, it's kinda cold in here. Okay, I, I think I believe I've gotten two on everything, right? Okay, I got, I know, I got at least uh, one date on everyone, right? Uh, back. I've gotten two dates with him. Who have I gotten two dates with? Okay, I've gotten two dates with Damien, Robert, uh, Joseph. Let's see, I got Damien, Robert, and those are the two people I have two dates with. Um, who should I pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Joseph it is. Joseph! Oh yeah. He's gotta remember his shit. I gotta go back into moments of relearning all this stuff. Voted most Maple Bay's number one youth minister in five years run. Living my, my hometown with a beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. And it's not that. And, and if I'm not in the church, you can catch me in the open water setting sail on the city's adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. My character's gonna take you to Candyland. I need the community to, in a fun mixture. Fuck it, I'm gonna make this even more hilarious. I'm gonna- I hope I get fan fiction written after- after these episodes. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna take you to Candyland. <laughs> lead the community into a fun- uh, What I like to do on Fridays is, uh, lead the community on a fun mixer. Uh, let's see, if I had to take anything I deserve on would be my string- uh, my six string. Hmm. What are your turn-ons, my loving wife? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Shit captain. Feel good movies. Uh, that's your genre of choice. Lovey, uh, what is your ideal date? Lovely night in town with my wife. I, I have a very strong feeling you're not in the good book. Okay. And how can I be a better man and husband and father? I like him how I'm gonna turn this Christian man into a... Oh. This Christian man with a wife and four kids into the gayest thing ever. He already looks gay as shit. But seriously, though. No, no offense to anyone who's gay, but... You gotta admit, he looks like a nice piece of ass. Come on, I'm a straight guy, and I can say that. A lot of you are probably going quote-unquote straight. <laughs> Had to get me some doom. Dad to number six. Don't trust anyone who likes to go. Uh, uh, never. It's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. Mm. Crazins. Crazins. Thank you. 
Sorry, this is taking a long time. I put this on the daddiest. The daddiest. The daddiest settings. Like, the, the, the levels of, um. The levels of, um. What's the word? Sorry, it's kind of fucking up. But the levels of, um. Um. Equality is leveled in dads. Like, dad, daddier, and daddiest. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Twinkies. <laughs> I'm fucking moron. I'm just imagining in the future that someone's gonna make a gif of that. Or gif. Okay. It's been a long day and uh, clipping coupons. There was a sale on a box brownie mix. That reminds me. What if Joseph's up to? I should see what he wants to hang out. Or if he wants to go to the store with me or use these coupons. Looks like he's online. Hey Joseph, wanna hang? It takes a moment for Joseph to respond. I well, hope you're finally recovered from your brownie-induced coma. Now I promise to have a fun hang, and, but tonight I'm actually chaperoning a man is visiting, and of course, if you're not doing anything, you should come. Oh, that sounds nice. And be a chaperone with me. Need the help. Less nice. I think for a moment, I'm a little bummed out for, of course, I suppose I wanted some a me and Joseph time, maybe to get to know him a little better. Ah, oh, what the heck. My friend needs help. My help. I type back. Buddy, if you need me, you got me. Just tell me where, where and I'll, where and I need, just tell me where I need to be tonight. And Joseph texts me uh, the details and I start pretty soon. I should get, get ready. I knock on Amanda's door and peek in. Hey Amanda, I'm about to head out. Where are you off to? Oh, uh, it's Amanda Panda. Oh God, I'm fangirling, fan. Boy, fangirling, I don't know anymore. Uh, are you gonna uh, go extremely cream coo coopopping? I'm actually gonna chaperone with him mm. for this mi uh, youth mixer dance that happening in Joseph's church. He says you're uh, you're invited, but you don't want, want to. Um, um, I'll uh, if you don't want to come, I'll cover you. Hmm. You know what? I'm down. Maybe I can make some new friends. That's good attitude. But I have you know, I'm mostly doing this for the potential for free food. Thank you, Amanda. And you get your- you get four daughter points today. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, guys. I don't know how much I want- I, how much I say this, but I really want kids one day. I want a daughter. I want one one day. Like, I want the ideas- I just imagining all the fun shit I could do with my daughter, but I'm also prepared for the things that are not gonna be fun. I like puberty. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, can I trade them for a daughter lava lamp? <laughs> Sorry, you only have enough for a daughter spider wing. And for some of those are plastic jumpy frogs. <laughs> I like those things. Hey, try the heart artist, it's inspirational. We arrive at the church and find out nobody's there, and there are decorations and balloons and banners and everything. But, no use. Hmm, I've seen a couple of dances in my life, but I want... I want to paint myself some sort of dance expert, but generally dances require people. And these people need to be dancers. <laughs> All of a sudden, Joseph jogs up to us and looks frazzled. You're here, I need your help. <sighs> jo Joseph gestures his hand painted banner hanging above the church and it reads, Jesus is coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm taking a picture right now. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. I, I have to. I have to do this for boss. I'm gonna do a video inside of you. Video section. Oh god. Uh. Okay. Am I am I on the right one? Hold on. I have to. Yeah, I'm on the right thing. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, so, uh, boss, so, boss, um, as you can see, I'm playing a game for my, uh, for my YouTube channel, but then I know, then this pops up. 
Anyway, uh, Jesus is coming. Yikes. Well, okay. that's Whoa. certainly a thing. God made it all yeah. things of Henda, except for that banner. I just made that. <laughs> I generally can't tell he meant that mindcolically, or he just can't spell good. <laughs> you know oh, what do God also does? Forgives. He forgives teenagers, and he never, ever breaks their airbox mods. Are you going hmm. to break Ernest's box mod? No, Amanda. Hmm. That would be a sin. I think that's one right... Uh, that's one right after Sloth. I Powder, I, I need your help getting this down before every, anyone sees it. I'll swing that. I can swing that, Amanda. Can you help? Physical labor, huh? Hmm. Amanda begins rapidly scanning the room, most empty room, looking for an escape room in her own. I have to get so oh, set up the food. Food's already set up. I'm gonna do a final inspection on the pass on the food. <laughs> I'll make sure you're up the code. I'm gonna eat the, your food. Hmm. So pull the way before I hide up and Joseph can get another word in. <laughs> Woo! You can really, really book it when she wants to. Her father was a giant pair. Her, fa her father has a giant pair of legs. I did it some giant. I did it some giant arms once, and it turned out the way it the way they were all right. Now here's this. The way he moaned just now is just making this little banner a little um little not little less uncomfortable. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna respond to that video. Anyway, I dated some giant oh, okay, yeah, up here. I must have I've been devastated. It was arm again. <laughs> Dad jokes to the extreme. Oh. No, it's I get it. I, I'll work, oh. I'll workshop it. It's a a gym in there somewhere. I'm really glad you're here, Powder. Oh. Are you enjoying my company, it, or did you just lure me out here with my strong arms and height advantage? A little of both. Oh. Yeah. I'm always something with you, Joseph. There's always something with you, Joseph. Something handsome and nice. <laughs> also, guys, my, my wife commented on my character. She thought he looked like a rapist. <laughs> you're not at that point. It's debatable. Hey. You're just a... Uh, allude to breaking a child's vape pen. I would love... I would have lost the debate. You're ready to do... You ready to do this? Are you, uh, are we gonna make Jesus come, or, or is this gonna be a thing? Um, let's make some magic happen. That doesn't even sound any better after saying that. <laughs> magic isn't real, Powder. Good, s God said that. God, I was also a, uh, also a bush one, one, God was also a bush one time. True. <laughs> Joseph and I grabbed a step ladder and walked to the earnest banner. And t the turd Ernest had one final uh, trick up his sleeve. Looks like a, a nightmare was stapled in ta eight, eight, six ways from Sunday. I see no tape, and it's only held up in two places. Any ideas? Uh, what's happening to your strong arms and height advantage? Uh, I forgot about those. But I realized that my oversized dad fingers are far too large to get the leverage of the tiny staples. You got a hammer? Uh, I can use, uh, use it to pry these off. Powder, this is a church. Oh. I'm a little nervous around hammers. And nails. I'm kidding, we just don't have a hammer. But we, we have to hurry, the use will be here. Why don't you just turn it into an O? God, it's like simple, just put a curve in it. Add another curve on the top. It's as simple as that. Just do that. A little curve on the top. Ah! Hurry, there used to be a moment. I'll never hear the end of the day if we don't fix this. Wait, I have an idea. I ungrabbed the marker or just used to draw uh, this thing and jumped on the back of the ladder. 
We can't, we can't get it down, so we're gonna have to send, send a different message. I only got one shot, and let's do this right. Jesus is coming. Is it coming? Jesus is calming. Mm, Jesus is calming. I'm able to turn the U into an A, A and, some, and an L somehow, and a lightest touch, and it works. Yes, we got fine. We got that. Yes. Well, that's that. That's true, I guess. We're gonna save right here, just to be sure. Just to be sure. We're gonna save right there. Yeah. Well, I guess it's true. I guess. Uh, bask in the calming presence of Joseph. Relax. Crisis averted. Let's just hope the youths don't notice. Joseph checks his watch. Hmm. The DJ should be here by now. Just then. Oh god, this guy. Okay then. Okay, they do blink. I just noticed they actually blink. I just... Just then the doors swing open. The man struts in with the DJ and equipment. Oh, crackle. oh crackle barrels? Did I just hear that? Wait, you're not just some usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan knew exactly when to play hey, the Cupid Shuffle. Hey, hey, I am Evan. Hey! Evan sold all his DJ equipment to a backpack through Europe. I'm filling in for him. Do not, I do not, I do hey. envy him though. Uh, what I would have given to drop everything and start over, huh? Are you all right? <sighs> all right. I better than all right. I'm DJ uh, Spin Master Quinn. He sighs heavily. I'm usually do trivia nights, but I moonlight, but I moonlight on the ones of the one or twos to give myself a sense of purpose in life. Is he okay? Well, you have, yeah. you'll have to do. I have playlists uh, of fun songs that useful I can won't inspire in pure thoughts that tempt them to di to the dark side, right? God, God, this guy is so fucking basic. Uh. I, I'll be honest, I like Joseph, it's just very, very, he's very, very... What's the word? Square. I guess. I guess I've never ever used that term before. The DJ thinks for a moment. <laughs> Believe me, buddy. I got what you need. Okay, great. Please, please play Baby Got Back. <laughs> I like big butts that I can't... <laughs> Uh, and then all of a sudden, Brian just shows up in the corner of the screen. <laughs> okay, great. I'll let you. Um, I'll let you uh, get set up. The DJ leaves. Let's keep an eye on this one. Uh. He sounds like he's uh, just gonna play uh, "Creep" by the Radiohead on repeat. Uh, after some time, kids from the community start filling up on the dance hall. Some of them uh, seem to notice our sign hack, and they didn't uh, seem to care. Um, almost, uh, most of the kids group up into tiny, uh, clusters, standing in circles, casting into sideways glances on the other, uh, groups of teens. Uh, man, I do miss being a teenager in social functions. Uh, I do too. Well, except the social functions, I just like being a teenager. Hey, hey, party people! Everyone in the room turns their attention to the DJ. Master Quinn coming in to attach with the sound that people want. We're all off to a good start. The next tune that goes out to the ladies in the audience. Let me hear you say yeah. A few have hearted yes that go through the crowd. All right. That's the good stuff. He sighs again. Right. I um man, I played really heavy a couple. I've been in a uh, heavy couple days. Next one's actually just for my wife, Sandra. I hope you can work pick things out. My little honeysuckle vine. The DJ. Now, who wants to listen to Radiohead's Creep? Uh. Eh, slides up to me, pizza. <laughs> oh my god. He just fucking called it! <laughs> slides up to pizza, hands me a, uh, a punch in the other. Creep, huh? Bold choice for a youth group. Let's see where this. Where he goes with this. After the song finishes, he plays Creep again. Is this DJ crying? If you watch the group really closely, you can catch some cringe every time Tom Yuri swears. There they go. 
Maybe you should do something about this. Joseph runs up to us. Oh. He's killing the vibe. We're listening to swears. Sad swears. We have to do something. You guys should try to give him a pep talk. Maybe you work him up to everybody hurts uh, by Rem. And then at least uh, no rain by the blind Ellen. Um, you want to help up us cheer him up? Uh, actually, I just saw my friend, uh, Fred, Frederick, uh, Frederico, Frederico? <laughs> what? Frederico? He's from Latin. I didn't know there was... You were taking Latin class. I'm not. <clears throat> He's from the country Latin. Oh. Yes, it exists. Dad! You can go, Amanda, if it's fine. And she's gone. Why, feel Why is this guy so depressed? Ah! Joseph, oh, I shouldn't really talk. I shouldn't talk about that. I shouldn't really talk about that. <laughs> Joseph and I make our way to the DJ booth where Spin Master Quinn is having a quiet cry. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, my dudes. How's yeah, the party jam? It's, uh, not. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm just Aha! taking a moment to find my groove. Gotta play the sad hey. tunes properly appreciate by the bangers, right? I really want to play this. Choose this option. Hold on, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna pick out options here. Here, it's saving. Okay. No, stop me if you're blind. You think that's how it works? That's sir. Kids came here to have a good time. We've got a cool. Put it on the sadness. Yes! I got it first try! Okay, uh, uh it's problems and you're, uh, having with. Uh, Joseph leans in close to me. What is my wife's name again? <laughs> Fucking hell, man, you're gonna... Sandra? If you're having problems with Sandra... I can help you too. Uh, I do counseling, uh... It's a job. It's my a job here, and I'm very good at it. Oh, I don't know. That's the good stuff. I can tell that you're uh, you're hurting. Nobody's volunteering listens to that much radio head and repeat it unless they're really going through some rough times. Trust me, I know. Lords of radio. Okay. Joseph places his hand on Spin Master Quinn's shoulder, who immediately collapses into shoulders and embrace, crying quietly. There, there, bud. I'm gonna. Mm. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. I'll I'll put some uh, dance hall anthems. You're the best, uh, Master Quinn. With the yet again crisis averted, just when I return to the dance floor, where Amanda's awaiting with the ice cream cone. They ha have ice cream here. Good work, Amanda. How's it looking out there? Well, for the a dance, there's not a whole lot of dancing. Looks like people are starting to bail, though. This is, this is a disaster. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. Right. This, this ice cream, top notch. I'm sorry for dragging you into this powder, and you and your man are just go home. I'm not gonna make you stay here for, uh, here for the train wreck. It's not a disaster. We can still fix this. We can. I suddenly realized what we had to do. Amanda, get out of here. I, I don't think you're gonna want to hear this or be seen with me after this. Oh God, you're gonna. What? You're not going to. I throw my car keys at, to Amanda. I can get a ride back with Joseph. Just remember er, remember me as I am right now, not as what I am about to become. Oh my god. I'm getting excited already. The dad humor is about to come in. Amanda nods. Nice knowing you, Pops. She runs out the door. Joseph, I'm gonna turn oh, it up to the dance floor. The look we you can get at the use into it as well. You in or out? Joseph stares at me. He knows what I hey. ask done as much as I do. See you on the other side. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> Joseph and I walk out of the dance floor in the middle of the room, and you just all stare at us. I'm sure what we're doing. It's time to get a groove on. Let's start them off easy. Oh my god, I have a bad feeling of this. Work our way up to the more chilling technical effect. Um... Uh, save. Um, I'm gonna start uh, rolling the dice. Uh, I shall pull a classic snake. <laughs> Alright. Follows along. Uh -huh. Popping our heads to the beat. Simple and smart, that's, that's good. 
Uh, I'm good, but... It looks like we've got everyone's attention. Alright, Powder, let's turn it up the heat. Okay. Shopping cart. Uh, sprinkler. Uh, and running man. Um, save again, because this is gonna make things a bit awkward. Okay. And... <laughs> Since the time of the moves uh, has never let me down, I'm starting to jog uh, in place. Uh, matching the movements with my arms, pushing down. It seems like it awakens something in Joseph who feels the fire and running them and deep within him. I look around the youths, they're getting into it. Nice work. We better uh, pick it up or they'll lose interest quick. Um, the cabbage patch, the windmill, or the hammer slide? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the cabbage patch. Uh, maybe. Uh, cabbage patch. You can never go wrong with the cabbage hey. patch. Uh, jo uh, Joseph follows my lead. We both take our arms and move around the circle. I assume we would do uh, the ca doing the cabbage patch. I look around the use and I think they're like, uh, they, they like the agriculture. <laughs> they're uh, not looking too lively yet, but we can still turn this around. Um. Attempt to twerk? I'm gonna moonwalk. I'm gonna see what happens if I moonwalk. So, here we go. I start sliding my feet backwards. I can't tell if it looks good or not, but these kids seem to have enough uh, of people doing moonwalks that uh, understand the general concept. That makes a moonwalk attempt as well. Surprisingly, <laughs> Dick pulls it off flawlessly. Looks good on the, the use. They're cheering. All right, time for the big finish. Okay, let's go one more save. Uh, attempt to underhear a backflip. Lift Joseph and uh, do a dirty dancing style. Death drop. Attempt to uh, unrehearse backflip. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna do. I've seen plenty of people do backflips before, but I can't be hard, right? I bend my knees and. Joseph grabs me. Powder, don't you dare. Mm -hmm. I know I, I could and land it. I'm not letting you break your neck uh -huh. in my church. Okay, uh, I'm gonna load uh, load that one. I'm gonna load that one. Uh, I'm gonna load that one, okay. Okay. Uh, death drop? I have internet videos to work. I could have nailed it, but I, on the beat drop, I uh, kick my leg up and dramatically fall on the floor. And laying back, all of a sudden, kids immediately start screaming. They know what's up. But what cost? He's gonna be pissed. Lords of Arabia. The of dance. The kids swarm the dance. We're all laughing and dancing to music, looking for our job. Looks like our job here is done. I actually like that one better. Uh, somehow, obviously, the kids take the dance floor and start to move around before, or are starting to laugh, enjoying themselves. It's a. Uh, it was dicey, but we've done our jobs. Come on, the rest of the chaperones will take it from here. What? I have something to show you. Oh. Back room. It's so dark. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Oh, uh, my throat hurts from sucking. I mean, um, from talking too much. <laughs> uh, Joseph leads me out of my, my main room and down the various dark, dark and corridors of uh, of the church. I can barely see anything and find myself tripping over my own feet. Joseph, I think I lost you. His hand finds mine in the darkness. I'm right here. I'm glad we can't see even me blush. We keep walking. Where are we? We're almost there. I actually have to admit that I'm a little uh, dishonest with you. I didn't just invite you here to help, to help me chaperone. What happened to lying being one of the ten things you're not supposed to do? I think there's an exception for what, and you're trying to surprise a friend. Joseph uh, closes the door behind us. I guess you're in a random room in depths of the church now. What could possibly have have planned? So, last time we talked, we've been escaping to an island where we could live out in an easy tropical lifestyle where the only worry is to trying to find that lost shaker of salt. Since we can't actually do that, I figured I could bring a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. It's not quite uh, Margaritaville, but something like that. It throws on the lights. <laughs> Welcome to Margarita Zone. Um, um, I'm a bit confused. Uh, welcome to Margarita Zone. I look around and as I adjust the lights, it's an office, but 
There are twinkling lights across the walls, little uh, garnels of flakes, flowers. God, he even got the salt on the margaritas! Hmm, uh, best blender. Sitting at the table, ukulele, music plays soft in the background. Joseph, this is... This is amazing! Wink! He just says his action, saying what I'm doing! Breathe! 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 Sorry guys for uh, doing that to the, to the mic there, I am very, very sorry. I'm, I'm probably brushing their eardrums right now. No, no uh, there's no pop tarts to step in here, buddy. Top, pop top pops to step in here, buddy. You did this for me? Whoever takes a seat and gestures me, for the, gestures me to do the same. I did this for us. I think we're both earned it. I settled in and Joseph pours us both margaritas. You really went all out. I have a flair of air for dramatic. And you can't meet me in the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. I take a good a sip of wine. Yeah, you yeah. Learn how to make a good margarita. Margaritas are awesome. If you're over 21. It was a it was a killer margarita. And I should I should follow this man. Oh, uh, you probably follow him to stare at his ass, but I mean, do you think the dance is gonna be uh, okay eh, without our sick dance moves? Nah, not here. Uh. You're missing the point of Margarita Zone. Margarita Zone is our place to rest and relaxation. This place is where we can kick our feet up and forget about our worries for our life. Why? Uh, save. It's heaven on earth with an onion, sli with an onion slice. Watch out for the blown out flip flop. No, not that one. <laughs> uh, load. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. There we go, but I also want to try the other option just in case. Uh, how about. Uh, uh, let's just load the other one. I like the flip flop one better because that. That could imply something else, so... I wanna watch him. The other one was, uh, really messed up. It's, a uh, it's a real fear. Thankfully, no heels are getting cut in my version of Margarita Zone. Uh, Joseph gestures in the makeshift, uh, island bar he's made. You know, it's funny. Hey. This reminds me of a bu uh, much when I was younger. I've been meaning to ask, what did you do before you started preaching? It's uninteresting. I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. What? Kind of, what kind of trouble? Trouble meant to go wherever I want, whenever, and I wanted. I hitchhiked around the country, went adventures, met all kinds of people, did some stuff I'm not proud of. I'm not too proud of. But I was young and in love, and I didn't want to answer to anybody. And now, oh. I host fundraiser car washes and take kids to soccer practice on weekends. Sorry, I didn't mean to get hurt. <sighs> it's okay. It seems like you spend a lot of time at taking care of others. But not enough time to take care of yourself. If you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Jeff stares deeply into the blender er, filled with ice and margarita mix. It's just <laughs> I think about I think about margarita margaritaville a lot. Or I get the concept of it. A place where I can strip um up six strings while I wait for the shrimp to boil. Bring margarita it is all the time. Forget about my worries. It's e an easy life. I had margarita Margaritaville once, but I think the closest I'm ever gonna get back to Mar is Margarita Zone. Short of a Kate Asian or reprieve from my daily life. Is it such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. It doesn't last forever. <laughs> That's the rub. When you're in Margarita Zone, it's not like your problems have re have really gone anyway, gone away. You're just choosing to ignore them. Maybe you're looking at the wrong way. Maybe Margarita Zone is actually better than Margaritaville because Margaritaville itself, it, Elf, is an impossible ideal. Remember that Spin Master Quinn said, sometimes you have to play the sad tunes to appreciate the bangers. If uh, stepping on the pop t uh, app is the biggest concern, how could you possibly appreciate the boiling shrimp? Hmm. <laughs> the, and Margarita Zone isn't uh, uh, unlocked to this office. I think it's about... Uh, about finding a little piece of margarita zone throughout your day and taking joy in those moments. That's awfully optimistic of you. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything big for me. 
I think about being able to be quiet, good, do word jumbles, drink some so off co coffee in the morning, to see my daughter smile, or to smile at Joseph, to spend some twilight time with a good friend. Oh. The way he moans, it's just... Yeah. I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. Is it just me, or is he leaning closer too? He's down on the rest of his margaritas and hops up down on his chair. Then and I make sure the dances wrap up with an incident before he takes cool the sock. I hop down to Joseph's car before he pulls into his own driveway. Thanks again for the help. <laughs> Thanks again for the margarita zone. Maybe you'll go back the other oh. there one day. If we do, it's my own damn fault. Joseph chuckles and drives <laughs> away. <sighs> okay, I walk into my living room and find Amanda curled under the blanket and groaning on the couch. Hey, Panda, you feeling okay? Dad, <sighs> out of I have a tummy ache. Eat too much of that group food? Your group, your group food? Drink too deeply <sighs> from the wet well of life, and now I pay the price. Well, well, by well of oh. life, I mean the big lukewarm punch bowl of Elser ju juice and sherbet. Amanda slides on the floor with an elongated groan. Need anything, kiddo? A time machine that goes back approximately two hours in the past so that it can w warn myself the folly of ex- I'll pour the glass- pour you a glass of water. Love you, pops. How about a, that dance go? Oh, I crushed it. Got the kids at the dance floor for exp and the, at the expense of my dignity. A fair trade. Also, everything hurts. I see you in the morning, kiddo. Night, dad. That was awesome. And I, I wonder what my score is. Oh, what time is it? Th that was You crazy. have a nice voice, I'll give you that. But that was really awesome. I got an S rank. Ah. Mm. Always carry a pocket knife. Another dear, uh, dreary night in the list of strolls to the Maple Bay. I've really been bonding with the community at M and Jerry's lately, so that my to strolls have been le leading me for more and more often. Peter, the man at the bank, Keith uh, from the down the street, Evelyn, who saw me at the deli that time, the guy whose name I think is Carl, are basically members of the family at this point. In fact, I heard Neil, the surly bartender, uh, mention that tonight Keith from down the street's birthday. And that we have to get that guy a little cake for his special day. I think we should probably just be, uh, just, he was first probably being a dick, but I heated over the bar anyway. But possibly the cake is strong enough lore. I step inside just in time for Neil starting to lean up on cake and for A, the pink icing online. Outline. Then, uh, I guess it was really Keith from down the street's birthday, and I missed it. It's still down, down in order of beer. As soon as I get down to the bar, I notice ah. Mary, Mary from next door uh, sitting in the corner of the room, drinking on, uh, alone again. She must have been having a rough day. Uh, she seems to be so weary and so sad. She's been doing this more and more often lately. The thing of guilt should sue me. Does she know? Is this because of me? Say hi. I had to say hello, and I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. This seat taken? She still doesn't look up. I take the seat anyways, and she finally notices me. You. <sighs> okay, this is maybe not be the best idea. Having fun with your new best friend, mm. Justin. Uh, he's a great... I'm so glad. I'm happy for you, too. Mary, I'm not... I never accused you of anything mm. uncouth, Powder. You're just ha having an innocent, uh, very platonic time with my husband. A supportive friendship. You're a good friend, aren't Come you? On. Unlike some other people in my life. So you're an expert in marriage somehow? Uh, it doesn't take an expert to see you two. As well, I'm not trying to be an expert in your marriage. Then what does it make you? You were miserable, you, you were miserable for a long time before you started poking your business, buddy boy. Don't come around here thinking that you're some paragon of empathy. Just because you got involved, all of you aren't welcome. Mary takes a long sip on her drink. You know, you really have... Not, you're really not his type, I'm surprised. Mary prays her tabs, her eyes right out of gym and Kim's without looking back. She knows her husband's gay. Welcome. You've got dads.
I want to check the message boss sent me. I sent the boss, so. Anyway. Uh, so. I got three dads messages so far. I want to do. I want to do Craig. I want to do Craig. Okay, I gotta remember his shit. He's the, he's the energy, he's the, he's the, he's the fitness buff dad. I think he's a single father, isn't he? Yeah, he's a single dad. A sub six minute mile? Uh, ideal date. Let's message him. I forgot I have a Twinkie, guys. Maybe I should get another uh, money shot with the Twinkie. Okay, that was weird. Okay. Ah! Okay, I really want to get some good college camera Craig this time. I hung out. He was so busy, his kids were fending off the fit. His flirty moms that I feel like we barely talked. Ever since the first time we hung out. You gotta remember, Craig was his uh, uh, childhood friend. No, no, college friend. You were college roommates. We were even not able to catch up with him now. I like to message him on Dad Book. Hey, man, been trained and they're on game recently. Ready for round two? Craig responds almost immediately. Dude, of course, emojis. Uh, I don't know what he just printed an emoji rather than type it out. Another one pops out of the image of Craig. Um, I mean, get up early tomorrow morning for my favorite morning activity, brunch. I type back, brunch? What's that? You run, and then you get brunch. Craig and I agree to the time to meet in the morning, and I have a chance to spend an evening in hanging with uh, Amanda. So, we doing pizza tonight? Again? Can we do like a salad right night? Dad, are you what? on a healthy kick? Uh, not yet. I formed a committee to uh, examine the possible beings of a health kick. They uh, haven't returned with their findings. If you go on a health kick, then I have to go on a health kick by virtue of being under the same roof as you. I don't know if I have the constitution for that. One, my wife is on her little health kick, and I'm not. So I, that doesn't really actually work that way. She's actually doing really well, despite of all this junk that you see me eating every day. Ugh. Dad, if you are on a health kick, then I have to go on a health kick. Am I... Uh, uh, okay, uh... Save. What? Don't worry about it. The committee is a smoke train. Even if the policies change on paper things, we will keep it going as long as we have city policies. You know how it is. Hot diggity dog. Oh. In that case, man picks up the phone and punches the... Ah, yes. Can we get an extra large pizza and a chicken bacon, extra cheese, tomatoes, and a couple of garlic sauce cups? That's my girl. From now on, no. How about you get try and limit this four times a week? Man, it hangs up. Rico says, hey. <laughs> The food gets delivered. Oh my god. I actually know the pizza guy around here. <laughs> I know the pizza delivery guy from Papa John's. I don't know his name, but me and him know each other. Like, we don't know each other's name. Well, he probably knows my name at this point, but we know each other. Like, we've met so many times. That's how bad my pizza addiction is. 
And the food gets delivered, and we plop up, up down on the couch and eat some za. Uh, just be careful, running the game, uh, running is a gateway drug. It's a slippery slope, Dad. If you first do a couple nights jogging before you know it, you're converting to a gar to a garage and to a, uh, to a home gym, renewing your subscription to some sort of weekly uh, kombucha delivery service? Question. Shoot. What's kombucha? <laughs> okay, so you aren't too far gone yet. I'm just gonna give you a hard time, Pops. I'm really happy you're running more and caring about your health. I'm going to keep you around as long as possible. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to last past 60 in, in, in real life. Uh, kiddo, thanks kiddo. Uh, speaking of which, I'm running with Craig tomorrow. You're going to be able to keep up with him? Uh. Hey, probably not. We laugh and eat some pizza before it is probably healthy in the name of carb loading. Uh, Eat more pizza than is probably a healthy way of car loading. I call it uh, the night early, so I'm ready for tomorrow. First start running in the morning. Pretty he hellish. Now that I've uh, a few sessions in, I admittedly ha has become a little bit more easier. Despite as always ending up in a dry having over a trash can, I... Uh, dry heaving over a trash can. This is what runner's high is. Just dry heaving? Actually, no, I know what runner's high is. It feels amazing, by the way. God, I wish I still had it. Now, now I kind of just dry heave at this point. I want my life. <laughs> yeah. At least in my tennis shoes, throw the t-shirts uh, and winner's summits. I went to the 20 years ago. Summit I went to 20 years ago. Head out the door in Monterey Jog. Craig is already outside the river straps on his chest. Dude. He's dressed in a head to toe, color coordinated running gear. Wow, I look like a total slum next to this guy. Hey, bro. Good morning, Craig. We're gonna be. Then we're gonna be running with us? Best as she can. Now we're taking him to the limit, aren't we, kiddo? Ew. God, River is awesome. Look at that little face. <laughs> look at that little face. Look at that little face. What is wrong with me? Guys, what, if, what is this game turning me into? Ew. Oh, I know what this means. Craig um, hands me a step, uh, hands her a step toy, which makes her smile ear to ear. Oh my God, it's so adorable! Oh my God, I'm a woman. Uh, that's Arnold in the uh, the Apibera. Sometimes it's the only thing that gets her to stop crying. Oh, I, I've been there. Amanda had a stuffed panda that she carried around everywhere. She would have a tantrum if we didn't try, if we even tried to wash it. I was, it was gross. So, oh, you've been running lately? Every morning for 30 minutes. And I'm basically a late athlete at this point. Haha. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try to keep up. So, where are you headed? Why is my character just oh. keep lying? I was uh, thinking that we could keep do a couple of laps around the park. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Then we could do some uh, uh, hill, hill ups, uh, hill, hill up a slope. Oh, okay, I can probably handle that. And then we uh, close it off with doing some wilderness survival hiking, hike running to uh, increase our agility. I'm suddenly struck with the only one I need to crawl back into bed. That sound uh, okay to you? I usually like to throw some uh, timed murder sprints in there. But I'll go easy on you since you're a beginner. That sounds like something I'm able to do physically. Great. Let's Dude. get started. Craig and I finally arrived at the park. A few other lo lone joggers make our way around the perimeter. River waves enthusiastically as everyone we pass. And a lot more peaceful in the morning. Alongside the birds chirping, river gurgling away with the stroller. It's pretty quiet. Alright, good warm up. That was a warm up? Let's start the show. Hey! But wait. Craig, hey. Uh, thankfully, dro don't drop it. You gotta hydrate, bro. Oh, uh, take out a lo long drink of the bottle. Uh -huh. You're not supposed to take long drinks. You're supposed to take sips at a time. Good, a uh, little fun f running fact right there. Um, ugh, I may not be really physic. I'm not that physically fit, but I know how to keep fit. Uh, uh, I, I bet I sound like a. Uh, sorry, I bet I sound like some really big fat guy giving out diet advice. See, what you gotta do is. The, I take a long drink from the water bottle, feel it revigorated. Man, don't drink enough water. Hey. I look down and pick up a Arnold, Arnold Rivers toy, hand over to her. 
must have dropped this. Thanks for looking out for the camera. You ready? Hmm? Hey! Save. You gotta have motivation, man. Just in case. We finally finished over in the, uh, t at the lab of the park. Hmm. Breathing heavy. I can't believe I'm actually do didn't lose Craig. He's even breathing heavy, too, which makes me feel a bit little better. I look down my shirt and notice that I'm drenched in sweat. Huh, almost looks like a frowny face. That's... one... what? Just kidding. Good uh, hu hustle out there. I'm really impressed. You're way better than, I la than the last time I launched you off a treadmill. Yeah, man, you really pushed me into my limit just now. I can't believe I held on. Sometimes you just need some th someone there with you to push you to to do your absolute best. Oh. I'm glad I could be that guy, bro. Bro. Bro! 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 God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Here's Eddie for a hill climbs. Blop. There's, a little che There's my little cheerleader. Powder, you ready? Uh. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, it's either this one or the bottom one. Because one says, uh, okay. And then the other one says, MOTIVATION! You bet. Takes me to a separate position in the park. Yeah. Hold on, I want to see what happens if I choose the other one. Uh, you bet. Takes me to a separate position in the park and steep so you're very straight. Okay, nothing really happens. Nothing's really changed. So what do we do now? We rip on up the thing. That. Looks like a lot. Nice. Guys, you don't know, you, you do not know what steep hill is unless you hmm. ran up the hill of misery. Which is a legit hill and on base. If you know, if you look it up where misery is, you can look it up. But I, misery is a, oh my god. You cannot sprint up that thing for your life. Yeah, basically it's like climbing stairs. Trying to run up that thing is basically like running stairs. That's how steep that fucking thing is. Powder, there are two things you need to know about this hill. One, don't stop running until you get to the top. And two, Craig points to the top of the hill. That's not the top. Ah, uh, let's do this! Finally, I reached the top of the hill after making a way past. I was originally thought this was the top know. of the hill. Once there, I hunched over my knees and gasped for air. My lungs are like daggers poking at my ribs. I can feel my heart in my ears. River, I'm having a moment, please. Oh boy. Craig looks at me uh, uh, taking a beating as well. Ah, so he is human. Powder, your arms are, are... Put your arms over your head and stretch out your elbows. That helps your breathe better. Yeah, that is a true thing. Um, you're always supposed to keep your head above your heart when you run. I do as Craig says and feel a little better, but it's still a little ill in agony. And there... Her, Craig tosses me a bottle of water again. I hydrate. Oh. Ate, what, like, uh, my life depends on it. Thanks, dude. Phenomenal work. You feel like the lightness in your head? That's the runner's high. Oh, that's it? Nice. I thought I was just, you know, dying. <laughs> Want to take it slow for a bit? I like that very much. We're, ca hmm. we're catching a breath. River starts crying. What's wrong, sweet pie? Do you want to play with Arnold? Guy looks around us. Oh, oh. boy, man. I think I lo we lost Arnold. River keeps whiling. Hey! I've abandoned my child's toy. Nice. You gotta find him, dude. That should be simple, right? We could uh, retrace our steps. Uh, I remember River last time we were at the bottom of the hill. Craig and I joined the path, scorching being the high low. We stuffed the uh, hmm. loaf of stuffed capybara, which Craig makes it time to explain that it is a large rodent native to South Africa. We uh, get to the place where River might have dropped it, but it's still nowhere to be found. Looks like we got a mystery on our hands. We have to get to the bottom of this. I suspect foul play. Hmm. Looks like the prime suspect is the world renowned Detective Milk. Dude, it's time for a bro adventure. A bro adventure? Oh. High Five decided to jog back to the park and see if we can find any leads. So hmm. It looks like there's a couple more practices, places to each of the some hmm. bros. Uh, <clears throat> and some bros around here were, uh, sounds good. Wait, who's good, good cop and who's bad cop? I think it's about, I think about it for a second. Hey! Well, I think, uh, for your stature, overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. On the other hand, you would ha have an adorable baby strapped to your chest, and that softens the edges a bit. 
valid points. I think you'd be a, great, a good cop because you're congealing attitude and willingness to try new things. But then again, you are, how do I get there are too many commercial breaks during the show, so you have the potential to be a scary cop. I don't want to have to meet, eat, watch me hell three e minute segments and hot five minute commercials in between. And that are loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch the shows in peace without ha people yelling at me to buy their wi wiper fluid and stuff. Case in point. Let's put a in the mo let's play in the moment by moment. Smart. Hey. So, where to, protective? Oh. Hmm. The field. Wander the glassy field in the center park using a whole lot of sense. A few figures cramped in the blanket. In the grass. A number of secrets. Interrogate River. Move to the other part part of the park. You're gonna be a culprit at least suspect. We caught an eye with River. It looks like she's on the verge of tears. Good cop. Uh, oh, I came for the baby! Nice! Hey, me, uh... Hey. So you wanna say kiddo? Meh. I return to Craig. We're getting nowhere with this witness. I feel the grass and we can't seem to find much besides a couple of ladybugs and nickels. While I'm looking for it, Craig calls out of the room and across the field. Powder! I jog over. Craig kneels over the grass, expecting something. I approach my heart and it's I never got to see it. This is Arnold's oh, leg! Man. I pull out the hand over his eyes. No, she should have subjected to this. She <laughs> subjected to this senseless violence. My god, who or what would do this? I don't know, but we're going to be dealing with some beyond our grasp. Can't look for- Can't look at this anymore. I turn around, trying to wipe uh, oh, the no. image of the stuffing stretched all across- uh, uh, On the ground from my mind. We're running out of time. We're May already be too late. Bang, bag and tag it. Let's keep uh -huh. going. We maneuver back to the field. Uh, move to a. Uh, let's uh, to the mat of his daughter. Santa starts. She's sitting down. Their dad and Sunny clean patches. We jog over. Oh, these two. Hey, dudes. Hey, bro. We just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Hey. Not anything but to increase my, uh, lack of using reserves. Uh, we have apple slices. Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I, I should be fine. You guys working out? Good day for it. Yep, oh. in the picture of health and athleticism. Good tradition, Powder. Hey. So, hey, you haven't been in the stuffed capybara around here, have you? What's a capybara? It's a large rodent from the native of South Africa. Wait a second, how do you know that a capybara is? You wouldn't ha happen to have hands-on experience with the one recently, would you? you know, uh, we learned about capybaras in fourth grade. I think it's more suspicious that you know what a capybara is. Oh my god. What, what if I took Arnold? What if the culprit and I just don't know it? <laughs> I can really, uh, check my pockets. Hey. Of all paranoids I might have kept in my per persons, perhaps it would just not have to trust. I saw a memento once, I was pretty sure it was how it works. Nothing. But I get that I wanted myself to think. No, Powder, don't let them win. I shake it off and thought. I saw a couple of squirrels over by uh, the tree. I don't th know if it helps, but I want to see if this cute squirrel should uh, definitely check it out. Thanks for the hot squirrel tip, cut. Blah blah, let's see, can we bear it? Right down. Good luck! I'm gonna get some apples. For the road, though. Picks me up with some more oats like. We're on our way. We maneuver back to the fields. Check out those squirrels. Uh. Expect the squirrels to be again. Uh, the tree. Ah, there you are. Curry is just telling you the truth. There are some, uh, rad squirrels. I'm oh. just happy we have got time. Field. Uh, move to another park. Um, go to the playground. No, we'll go to the go to the playground. We got a small playground on the edge of the park. Uh, -huh. uh look for clues. And I go to adults. Playground. Blah, blah blah. I'm kind of just skimming through this at this point. Mm -hmm. back to the playground. Interrogate Joseph. Uh, 
Hey. Uh, sorry guys, I'm, I'm just skipping. Nice. Uh, sure I am, you can notice me. Yeah. Run. Okay, well, well. What are you reading? Look, I'm nodding in rope time. Nodding in rope time? For boats. Boats. Boat ropes. Right. Say. <laughs> I, I know what he's really into now. I happen to see the stuff capybara around here. Hmm. It's a capybara. It's a large room that is uh, Hmm. Haven't seen one around here. Tell the hmm. kids to keep an eye out. Hmm. They're here. Joseph looks around. Uh, I I must have been looking at the park. Mm hmm. They're kids. They get into mission hey. sometimes, but they always come back. Oh. All right. Sounds a little suspect. Egg doesn't. Did you say? Uh, wait. I'm being interrogated right now. If he. Oh, cracker bears. Only if he did something wrong. Whoa. The third degree here. This is serious. We're uh, there's a cavalier on the line. I mean, it's more welcome. <laughs> Imagine if you're out there. Here's the crowd. The latest playground drama. Oh my god, this is really stupid. Thanks, Josu, but uh, the back of the rope book. I don't know how to feel about that. We he head to the playground. Try to calm down River. Uh, yeah. Nice playground. What's the room? Having a little swing might calm down River down. Might uh, buy us some more time. Uh, she's about to go nuclear. She might prepare. I take a seat while I swim. As you're stuck, I remember she needs to love that. Craig eventually helps me out with swing and decide to get back to the investigation. We head back to the playground. Uh. Uh, move to the park. Uh, check out the playground. Go to the woods. Or the woods out the park. There's a couple of branches. Seems you must have run around here somewhere. Um, interrogate Robert. Um, look for clues. See the shirt to the woods. Mm -hmm. Related. Might be a dead end, but partner, bro. Uh, there's a in somewhere. Uh, interrogate Robert. Maybe Robert saw something. Look on Robert's bench. It's Rob Rob! Robert! Oh my god! Robert, that looks like- actually looks like my dad! Oh my hey. god. Well, a younger version of my dad than what he is now. Well, as of pictures I've seen of my dad, this is what he kind of looks like. Hey Rob, don't call me that. Which is ironic, they have the same name. Hey, hi, okay. Don't call me that either. <clears throat> okay, hey, buddy. What are you up to? Thinking this is my thinking bench? I have to get a solid two or three hours of brooding in it per day. I don't know. Quotas. Hey. Is this guy trying? Oh. Uh -huh. is It's a large ruin in native South America, I know. Hmm. So have you seen one? A stuffed one? It's real, not a real one? That would be weird. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. something about how to fight, please. Well then, you should tell me what- Here, I'm gonna spoil the seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're bluffing. Oh, I will do it. <laughs> really? Stop, you're a monster. Mm. Robert size. I haven't seen a goddamn M Kyber, okay? Crap, it's really a Hilly Bank copy, too. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I really like Robert. Robert's an awesome character. Now what, bro? Twins are Kids, why don't you tell me if you had something to do with this? Nice! Hmm, maybe I should, uh, left a good cop, oh, bad cop or two first. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. I know it's really sense of a man oh, who broods. I saw a hey. lurking around uh, a little while ago. Where'd they go? <sighs> ran in the woods. I'll be careful, though. I don't trust them. And, uh, I... Take it back. You're an old, old, you're an old so kiddo. Oh. 
Thanks for your help, mm. Robert. Mm. Points. Let's do this. Path of woods, keep our ears out of reach. Man, we've been going through a long haul of this. Mm, silence and you're settling. The sun can barely hmm. peek through the canopy. It's colder here. Suddenly, we hear voices. I want to do it. You got to do it last time. Craig and I become. Oh, these two. The fucking Silence of the Lambs twins, I guess. I don't know what the fuck to call you. Stop right there. Put your tiny hands on where oh, I can see them. Christian and Christy stare at us. They heard you got. They heard, you heard the guy. Put your hands on. They were in the, kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah, can you uh, come back later? What are you? What are you kids doing? Cutting up stuff. My heart's pounding. What is this? Step closer. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. A pair of uh, safety scissors lie in the dirt. And it's Arnold. What have they done to him. Arnold. Goo. You heard the baby hand over the capybara. No fair. Hey. Finders keepers. No, no, not finders keepers. That is our, that is our property, and that's you, you've desecrated it. Well, how can you prove that it's yours? Craig holds up Arnold's sleeve leg. Ha, you have to. I'll have it. Look away. You two are sl got sloppy. You left evidence behind. Friends, I think you'll uh, find that this leg is oh. perfectly to that his body. Christian. Each other. You don't, don't know what to do. they don't have to do. How about a deal? You give us the cave bearer and we won't tell your dad about this. Fine. She hands over the stuffed animal and give us those safety scissors. Those are clearly no longer safe in your hands. Um, she hands them over. I'm glad we could uh, figure this out. Come to, come on, partner. Greg and I start making our way to the woods and he turns around and calls back to the twins. And tell your dad to stop letting you watch true crime shows. Uh, with the caviar back in the uh, right rifle owner, Craig and I shambled the nearest diner, exhaust our adventure. We find ourselves cornered booth and settled in. Well, that was a tough case, but we cracked it. We are different now. Change. We didn't get too, too deep. Too deep. Nothing of an earthy brunch can't fix. My stomach grumbles, and I suddenly realize how big of an appetite I worked up. Brunch! Give me brunch! Hey. Um, I have a strong philosophy on brunch. You see, the first thing you gotta divide your brunch mm -hmm. between uh, boogie brunch and upper class uh, Namoas. Mm. The eggs benedict brunch, the grimy brunch. Oh my god, there's so many brunches, I can't read all this. So, what kind of brunch are you, or dad, are you, Howard? Mm. I'm gonna save and uh, save. Okay. It's an oatmeal slice of mango. Nice find a choice. The young waitress passes the menus and Craig salutes the river to the high chair. Is this your kid? You betcha. She's so cute. Hi, you. Hey, kid. Middle uh, school was going to be uh, really oh. tough, but you can't admit get through. Yeah, you can make it through anything. Uh, the waitress walks away uh, after uh, winking, uh, winking at Craig. Seems li like you're the most uh, eligible dad bachelor in town. Not so, anyway. There's the, the thing about brunch. You don't do business during brunch. Brunch is the time for rest, relaxation, and restoration with the those of you love. With uh, having brunch or traditionally brunch time, the most important time is that brunch isn't a time, it's a state of mind. If you can't have brunch in your in your plate, then you can't always have brunch in nice. your heart. I don't disagree with you, just know I can ha if I can at your intensity. I open, I'll open open your eyes, bro, just you wait. For our food, the waitress, after a very painful hit hitting on Craig mm -hmm. multiple times, eventually brings the brunch feast. Sk River munches on cereal right next to us before the next ma less managing to get into her mouth. I gotta say, man, it's um, it's really great having you back around to hang with uh, things. Oh. So busy work and fitness and the kids. I just ha haven't had time to really go out and get to know people. With you here, it's 
like we're picking up where we left off. I know, the feeling, man. We're moving to a new place. We've been, uh, really, uh, rough for, for me, especially with Amanda go going off to, to college soon. You're making this a lot easier. Big smiles at me. Feel feels really good to go to another, uh, bro venture with you, dude. Just like old nice. times. Sorry if my voice is... Ah! <sighs> Sorry, guys. My throat is really sore. I forget how much Dream Daddy soars my throat up. God, that sounds so wrong. Mm. For a while, I forgot about anything that was bothering me in a while, and it's just you and me, and... More coffee? Oh, uh... No, thank you. So, do you, like, work out? Yeah, mostly, uh... Ke oh. Uh, calisthenics. And I'll try to um, lift parts of my regimen. Uh... That's so cool. I've been looking for a workout buddy, you know. I wish you could. Uh, wish you could help me out, but I'm enjoying brunch with my workout bro oh, right now. Hello. Well, oh. you change your mind. He just slides a folded note to Craig and walks away. Craig makes a face as he reluctantly puts it into his pocket. We uh, can't take. We can't take you anywhere, can we? It's a blessing and a curse, isn't it? Uh. Next time we hang out, you should uh, be in the middle of the woods where people can interrupt mm -hmm. us. And also, maybe some different woods than the ones that those little kids were very sick. Got into bisecting things. Craig laughs. Man, remember all the camping road trips back in the day? Joseph's <laughs> G E Yellowstone? That was the best. Bro! I'd give you anything to go to do that all over again. Dude, we should do camping. Do a camping weekend. Oh, oh, I don't know, bro. I'm an adult now. We have all these adult responsibilities. I don't think I can just drop everything and go hang out in the woods for a few days, you know? Come on, dude. If we're planning things right now. We can do this. Craig, do you ever do anything for yourself? Does my guy, my character even work? Craig stares into his coffee mug. Of course I do. Yeah, like what? Sometimes I let myself have a scoop of vanilla ice cream before bed. <laughs> but only if oh. I, I didn't meet, eat my caloric intake I don't day. Know. And sometimes I let myself hit, hit the news alarm, but only once. Dude, you oh. gotta relax sometime. For, if it's, go it's gonna kill you. Please, come camping with me. It'll be so fun, bro. I guess I should get some, uh, actually to the take the kids. For the weekend? Hmm. I'll think about it. We finish our brunches and head back to the cul-de-sac. By the way, great job keeping up today. Seems like you're uh, oh. already making a, a lot of progress. Uh, I'm probably um, mm -hmm. going to need a little bit more recovery every time after this. Tell me, the girl says hello. I will see ya, bro protective. I don't know how this date went. I say goodbye to Craig and hey. say, step inside. God, I re... I re I'm ready for a shower, a gallon of water, and a nap. Hmm, I bet Amanda's still asleep. I cracked open the door and find her still in bed, sleeping, scrolling through the phone. Good morning. Afternoon, actually. Right. It was brunch. Uh, it was good. I was kind of sidetracked because of the travel into the depths of the Maple Bay. B a bark mm. under belly. It's a fine river. A toy that river dropped back. You know, I actually feel pretty great. My legs give out. I find myself on the floor in the hallway. I'm just gonna like, hang out here for a while. You take your time ah. hanging out. Huh. God, that speaks my fucking language. <laughs> yeah! oh. like that, and an achievement! Keg stick and... Champion. Okay. Anyway, guys, um... Welcome. We got You've about got three dads. more to work with, guys. And I'm gonna have to put it off until the next episode. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll catch you guys later. Stay dirty, my friends. Bye!